As of today, we embark on a new challenge. So in this video, I am going to put together a 10K to 100K portfolio, and I'm gonna lay out all the parameters because this is going to be an ongoing series. There will be follow-ups to this video. We can make adjustments to this portfolio. So I'll go over all the parameters here in just a couple minutes on this challenge. But as you can see here, uh, the portfolio I'm starting with has $39 in it. So what we're going to do, we're going to allocate $10,000 into some tokens, and we are going to ride this up over the next 12 months to $100,000 to show anything is possible in crypto. And, and you know, we're going to have to actively trade. It's going to be tough. There are going to be trials and tribulations, but we're going to get this done for the fam here on In The Game. To celebrate 100K subs, let's run up a 10K portfolio to 100K over the the next 12 months so guys like the video down below if you're new to the channel as well subscribe we did just hit 100k next stops a million we got to 10x that now so help us out down below smash the like button comment down below what you would put in a, a portfolio of course from 10k to 100k and uh, we welcome all the new subscribers that have recently helped us get over 100k as well and a quick shout out to all of our sponsors here on in the game we have moon tropica Unioverse, we have nord vpn we have on me as well as all of our exchange partners blowfin avo down below when i'm trading i'm using blowfin recently no kyc very friendly to your local jurisdiction in that regard so you can check out all of our partners down below in the description and have to give a big shout out for the mint for our sponsors on me tomorrow september 12th we have their founders collection which is minting exclusively on magic eden and first and foremost you can link down below in the description or head to onme.io there's a whitelist button right here in the middle of this page all you have to do is follow the steps download the ios app the google play app it is genuinely one of the best ar experience we all talked about the metaverse ar vr but how realistic was that vision a couple years ago not really wasn't really tangible at that point in time right and now we have ar experiences that are really based off your geolocation you can go around and collect and catch these different types of assets in this ecosystem and be able to add it to your inventory and then eventually be able to translate these into on me tokens and i know for a fact with the mint coming up on september 12th you're going to have early access to the onm tokens if you guys watch my shows you know how much i like to get early access into these types of projects that give out tokens in the future. They have great backing. Their team is from Activision Blizzards. They're working with Kravitz. They have so many things going right in this project, different luxury brands as well. We head over to the Magic Eden Launchpad so you can actually see uh, magiceden.us slash launchpad slash ethereum slash on me underscore limited. And you can actually see here on the launchpad for Magic Eden, the mint coming up in just about 20 hours from now. Uh, so really exciting times. There's only 500 NFTs available on this wave. So on Magic Eden, it shows 2,500. There's only going to be 500. The mint price is about 0 0.088 Ethereum. Really not too bad, to be completely honest. Uh, you know, at around a $200 price point for the amount of value, the low supply. I think that this one does make sense. And I'll personally be minting. So check it out down below. I know we have links into the, uh, to the white list down below simple steps download the app give it a shot i'm in here in miami and there's a few things around the city that i've noticed whenever i'm using the app so definitely recommend jumping down below and checking out their mint which goes live here in just about 20 hours and um, let's start with the market before we get into the 10k to 100k and i'll lay the groundwork for how we're gonna do this throughout the next 12 months we're actually seeing bitcoin pump quite a bit right now we got back into the 55s this morning i'm not too like privy to um you know what caused this overnight dump maybe the election uh you know i know where there's a cpi stuff going on but we got into the 55s here 55 590 didn't look too hot and now we're back above 57 in those mid 50 honestly right around 57 five levels and then if we look at the daily some altcoins performing very well we have star atlas up 15 percent. i actually had this pull up you know a lot of people i think overlook 
Star Atlas. Um, they've done 85,000 Star Atlas cruise sales on, uh, yeah, cruise sales on Tenzer since they launched. And um, really one of the OG projects that has continued building throughout the space. So uh, definitely bullish that Star Atlas is still kicking and really over exceeding their expectations, especially versus other OG projects. Uh, we have Superverse, which is up 13% today, 34% over the week and 56% over the month. This is definitely our biggest winner in our gaming portfolio recently, the amount of collaborations. And I dropped a lot of bombs in alpha around off the grid and then some of the things that I'm hearing that are coming up in the Superverse ecosystem and Superverse teasing a new super saga is on the rise. So there's definitely some good stuff coming up in this ecosystem. And I'm really excited to see uh, whenever that rolls out, just how much people flock to the super token. So we're starting to see a little bit of green across the market, even over the seven days, you know, super, uh, you know, 34%. We have crown up 30%. They had some really good news yesterday that came out. So they're kind of getting a nice little pump in the market currently. So it's nice to see a little bit of relief across the gaming markets currently. And um, that brings us to the main topic of the show. We're not really going to dive too much into industry news. We talked about all that the last two shows. Um, there was a lot of news from grapes going under, and it prioritized yesterday. I went over the 10 coins are the only thing you need in this market to make it out this cycle. But I have to set the groundwork. Today is going to be a lot different, okay? You guys always ask me, we want new tokens. We want the DGEN stuff. What happened to the low caps that you're they're bullish on? First of all, yesterday's video, I don't just hold 10 tokens. I was just simplifying it in this market for you that if you had to pick 10 tokens, that's all you need in this market to succeed. So what we have to do here, so today begins the journey on a 10K to 100K challenge, like I said, to celebrate 100K here on In The Game. And what we're gonna do, here's the groundwork. We have to start with 10K. I can then pivot that these positions over time. We will have follow-ups to this video. Um, whether we're down, whether we're up, we are going to keep track with this over the next year, over the next 12 months as the bull market plays out, in my opinion. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get this 10K portfolio and actively trade and maneuver our way up to 100K. So we can adjust positions we can exit positions we can get into new ones and i'm going to keep you guys updated on this fresh account that i have made here on nexus and nexus is i mean the the platform we've built here is incredible multi-chain portfolio tracking from all evm chains all the ton tron we have solana bitcoin ordinals aptos any given chain or wallet that you need to track, we have you covered here on Nexus Lab. So you can hit the link down below in the description as well to get seven days for free down below. But let's get this thing started. This is going to be a challenge because with only 10K to allocate, there is so many ways you could maybe go with this. Um, and it, I'm going to have to go back to the watch list. So... For one of my plays, I'm going to want something that's a little bit safer, but has high upside. And I think that we're going to have to, so the, the beauty of this, because you guys are probably tired of me saying super, beam, prime, run, but that's really what I'm allocating into currently, right? Uh, but... For this given challenge, we're gonna have to go a little more degen. We're gonna have to play a little bit of a riskier ball game in order to get this from 10K to 100K. So as I'm traversing the charts here, um, we're gonna have to, oh, okay. Um, so my first position that I'm gonna throw into this portfolio is going to be a little bit safer. And I just think, from given what we've seen from this project, this cycle, we go to the one year and we have Echelon Prime, which got up to 27 bucks. So like that's a 4X in current price standpoints. I think that's easy. I think we get to 50, $75 this bull run very, very easily. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the portfolio. I'm gonna add a coin into this wallet and I am going to take a position into Prime Okay, this is the, the tough part. So 
my balance into prime since it's technically going to be based off tokens at seven dollars that's like how much would 25 no 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 i would need 250 let me edit that position let me uh let me go in here i'm going to actually need to i'll just i'll add more um add coins prime it would actually be 225 more prime there we go um so 225 prime that's not exactly what i'm looking for i want about 2k in prime so what we're gonna do prime let's go 255 i think that should give us the the that's fine we'll allocate 1800 and sixty dollars on 255 prime now the mathematics here even if we get up to 25 dollars back to where it was about 26 27 uh so if we do 255 tokens times 25 that position right there could just three and a half four x by itself um, that would give us a nice boost to this portfolio right off the bat. And ignore Polygon, BNB, and Ethereum. They're just in here from this wallet that I chose to do this challenge on. Um, oh, I got to refresh this. Um, so let's start with Prime. Prime's going to be the first one that we have in here. 255 Prime tokens. So we have about $1,850 allocated into the first coin. This is going to be where it gets tricky because you can't level up a portfolio like this with billion dollar projects. Unfortunately, that's just not how it works. So for this challenge's purposes, we're going to be dwelling into the depths a little bit. Um, I am going to go with some, you know, riskier plays throughout this. But one thing I'm also, and I also have to look at the recent pumps like, if I'm gonna do a, a 10K to 100K challenge, I don't wanna add something that's up 54% this month. So I love Super. Super has been, as you guys know, my number one conviction play in recent time periods, but it's up 54% this month. It's hard to justify you know, adding it at a high scale to this portfolio. However, I think it would be foolish of me not to. Um, given what I know is coming for this ecosystem in this project. So let's go ahead and add super in here. We'll do a smaller position than we did prime. So what I'm going to do here, it's 80 cents. So that would mean about 1,200 coins should give us around $1,000. Yep, perfect. Perfect. So between these two tokens here, we have about $3,000 allocated in total. So the total here on the portfolio is 2,945 so far. So that's between two tokens. We added 1,200 super. Now, if we look at the super chart, just for mathematics, we can go look at the one year and we see a dollar fifty. So that could get up to, you know, uh, the 1,200 tokens. That could get us up to, um, I mean, about eighteen hundred dollars just by getting to recent highs and i think that's easy so um we'll definitely ride that up and guys we'll actively trade this as we go and now we're gonna have to go riskier because these two tokens aren't going to 100x as much as we would like to think that we could simply invest in solana and go from 10k to 100k it's that's just not how it's gonna happen right unfortunately we're gonna have to go into the doldrums of the low market caps and i know you guys are excited because you're like what would hustle be investing in in this low market cap market so um let's jump into it i think one that um i still have so much conviction into that i mentioned earlier in the show is star atlas and i really like polis um, you know, Polis at $40 million market cap. I think that the governance token in this ecosystem is just the way to go, kind of like Senate and Citus. I still like Senate. Citus and Senate are kind of beaten down price wise. But for me, I like Polis. It's been showing a lot of strength in this market. So at 15 cents, we are going to go over here at a $40 million market cap, which is where there's a lot of upside here for us on Polis. We're going to go at 15 cents that would be about 
12,500 tokens to get us about $1,500 in polis. Let me see if I'm correct there. Okay, that's about 2,000 in polis. So that's fine. I'll do 12,500 polis in order to get that allocation into that project uh, and be able to comfortably ride that up because I do think that polis is also a sure shot this cycle. And if we go look at the yearly charts, it got up to 65 cents. So that's a 4X from here. That by itself could turn into around 8K just off recent highs. So I'm very bullish there. Uh, I'm going to allocate 12,500 tokens into Polis. High market cap, or it's a low market cap, but to me, it's a risk I'm willing to take on a team that just continues to build, continues to push volume, and the game just looks absolutely stellar. So we're about halfway allocated here into this portfolio. I think one I have to go with um, is Mog. I'm going to allocate into some sort of a meme coin I love Brett, but Mog is just lower market cap. This is going to be hard. I'm not really sure. Like how much money does that give us into Mog? About $1,000. I'm probably gonna double that. So we need to do 2 billion Mog. So let's go um, add coin, Mog, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Boom. Add coin. All right, there we go. So we have about 2K into MOG. We have 2 billion MOG tokens, which we look at the MOG chart. This thing has been beaten up over the last month because of where meme coins have gone, but I don't think the meme coin cycle is over. We could easily double up this and more if we just get to recent all-time highs. So I'm gonna start the first four tokens in this 10K to 100K challenge, MOG, Polis, Prime, and Super. So we're about... 6,000, 7,000 allocated into this portfolio, as you can see. And the beauty of it is, is we can come back to this. I made a fresh account for this. We can come back and we can track this portfolio throughout the cycle. Um, I kind of want some AI exposure here. I need to figure out, and I have some through um, Prime. And we're doing this on the fly. That's the beauty of this challenge is we're going to do this alongside you and, and be able to come through here and, and put these together and hopefully win in these markets together. Um, as far as AI goes, I am going to choose GPU. GPU is just a consistent performer in the AI space. 72 cents at a $68 million market cap. If we go look at the yearly chart here, uh, we're three and a half X from all time highs and AI is just not in the narrative right now. So I'm going to take one stab here at GPU. Um, that's going to be my challenge to start the challenge, the AI play that I go with. And, um, one thing that you have to remember here. So 75 cents, let's go with about it'd be about 1300 tokens would give me a thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow. The quick math, the math is mathing. We're going to take it. So I'll do 1300 tokens of GPU. Uh, and, and then if we refresh this, I think we have a couple grand left to allocate here. Yeah. So we have $2,200 left to allocate here. And I like my exposure so far. Mog, Polis, Prime, Super, GPU. We don't want to go into 10 tokens, which is why I've doubled up. Uh, I've, I'm almost $2,000 into Polis, Mog, and Prime. So you don't want to go too thin into 20 tokens for 500 bucks. You also don't want to just put it all in one token. And if that token underperforms, you kind of shoot yourself in the foot. What we have to do right now is kind of spread our bets at 1,000 minimum but into some positions that we see such high upside and hopefully low downside. And heading into Q4, I think it's the perfect time to put this challenge together. But what we have to remember is as we grow this portfolio, we can then put it into a safer bet. If we're playing with 40K, I could then tangibly allocate 15 grand into my top pick and then just you know, pick at some different projects with that extra 25. But with 10K, it's very tough to allocate appropriately. So we have two grand left here. 
on this portfolio. And if we go back to the watch list, I think I have two choices here. I can go with something safe once again, but I already have Super and Prime in this portfolio. And if I go up here, the upside is just not there. And I'm not looking to flip a 60 billion into 120 billion for a $4,000 play. That's just not what I'm in the, I'm, we're not in the trenches for this play here for that. Um, oh, this is going to be, look, this might be the craziest sounding play that you have heard, but I have talked about this on this channel that I stake tokens here. So I'm going to go with a very diverse position. I'm going to go JLP. I am going to put some allocation in here. Instead of Solana, which is billions and billions and billions of dollars market cap, I'm going to put money into Jupiter Perps LP. This is a yield bearing token. As you see, the chart is only up and to the right, up 172% this year and only at a $43 million market cap. You earn fees based off the perps trading on Jupiter. This is a no brainer play to me. And I am going to add this in. Um, so it's about $3. I know it's crazy. Um, but you have to be crazy when we're going to go from 10 K to hundred K it's not as we're not meme sniping. So I don't just put 10 K into a, a shit coin and we're going to ride it up. Like we're going to do this live and JLP it's about $3. I think honestly, the way I'm going to start this portfolio is I'm going to allocate the rest of the money here. Um, I'm going to go 720 JLP for three bucks. That should give me right around 10K allocated. Boom. And there we are. We started it with $39. Okay. So we have just allocated 9,993. Yeah. Yeah. $9,993 into these positions. So I'm going to refresh because sometimes uh, when you're at, oh no, it's, it's all here. All right. So there we go. Um, I allocated 720 tokens into Jupiter perps. This gives me nice Solana exposure throughout this cycle. And honestly, the way that that chart performs, the fees that you're earning on the number one decks for perps trading in all of the Solana and crypto ecosystem, I'm gonna ride that up as a super safe position. And it gives me, instead of investing in Sol, which is $132, $61 billion market cap. I can invest in a $40 million play that is nothing but up and to the right throughout this cycle so far. And it gives me perfect Solana exposure during this cycle. Uh, and then we're into MOG for about 2000 at this market cap. I absolutely love that. Um, Star Atlas DAO, we put about 2000 for 12,500 tokens. We have Prime for 255 tokens, Super for 1200 tokens, and Node AI 1300 tokens. This to me is a perfect start to a 10K to 100K challenge. And here's the beauty of this, okay? If AI starts to run and node AI 5Xs, we can take that money and pivot it into a different play. If super continues its run and it 10Xs during this cycle, we can take that money and rotate it into a new play. This is going to be an ever expanding portfolio here over the course of the next 12 months. And I know the comments down below, y'all are gonna think I'm insane for putting money into Jupiter Perps LP, but I have a strategy here. That thing has gone up 172% literally over the time period of eight months. This is a nice, stable play in a portfolio challenge where, look, GPU is risky. Polis is a little bit risky. They're lower market cap tokens. Mog, Prime, and Super at least have high market caps, but Jupiter Perps LP at 40 million market cap gives me a low market cap play that is very safe in principle of the fact that you're basically just earning fees that are accrued to this token based off the fees coming in from the leverage trading on Jupiter. So let me know your thoughts. 
probably wasn't what you're thinking because like I said, this is a different thing. Yesterday, I gave you 10 tokens that I think you can just hold those and chill throughout the cycle, but that's not what this is. You guys want DGEN trading? You guys want active market participation? This is something we can play with throughout the next 12 months and come through here and be able to adjust, make moves on the fly, and hopefully you join the journey as well on this 10K to 100K challenge that we're doing in celebration of in the game hitting 100K. So I'm ready for these comments because they're gonna be hilarious. Let me know down below your thoughts on my opening portfolio here if the logic to you makes sense because I do think the logic lines up across all of these positions. I have high level blue chip exposure with Jupiter and Solana with Jupiter Perps LP. I have meme coin exposure with Mog. I have gaming exposure with Polis, Super, Prime. I have AI exposure with Prime and GPU. Makes a lot of sense to me, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And we're gonna keep up to date. This is only episode one of this saga of videos where we're gonna go on this journey to 10X this portfolio and show you no matter what size you're playing within the crypto markets, if you make good moves throughout the cycle, you can grow this to 100K. So guys, like the video, subscribe down below, and be sure to remember On Me Mint tomorrow. This starts based on the time it would have started at... 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, so about 20 hours from when I'm recording this, it will get going here on Magic Eden's Launchpad. So be sure to check that out, and we'll definitely check in on this portfolio throughout the cycle. Um, and like I said, are these my top six tokens in the market? No, they're not, but that's the whole point. Um, yesterday, I gave you my top 10 tokens overall in this market, however, we're gonna have to trade this a lot differently and that's what's gonna make this fun is a little bit of degen action here on in the game before we ramp into Q4 where I think price action is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. So guys, like the video, subscribe down below, leave those comments. How would you allocate 10K if you're just getting started but your goal is not just to grow it a couple Xs, you're trying to get that 10K to 100K. Let me know down below and I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, play well, my friends.